Good morning or good afternoon. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to finish our discussion on assets and bases, which is something that we have been talking about for the last couple of weeks. Now, I decided instead of bringing all the products to you this time, I'm going to bring the products to you in a video. So let me just show you the products that we will be testing today with our litmus paper. We have baking soda, pickles, vinegar, dish detergent, picante sauce, milk, coke, ketchup, bleach, grapefruit, and glass cleaner and a sink full of water to wash out all these dishes as we get through with them. Okay class, so today, just like the last time, we're going to take blue litmus paper or red litmus paper and test them in these products to see whether or not they are acids and bases. Now, let's review. Now keep in mind, as I told you before, acids and bases are everywhere. They're in your house, they're in your food, as a matter of fact, they're even inside of you. Now let's review some properties of an acid. Remember that acids taste sour. They can be corrosive, which means they break down certain substances. Keep in mind, many acids can corrode fabric, skin, and even paper. An acid will turn blue litmus paper red. Can you repeat that after me? An acid will turn blue litmus paper red. Okay now, I need all participation from everybody in the class. One more time, an acid will turn blue litmus paper red. Vinegar is an acidic acid. Lemons, limes, and oranges are citrus acids. Your citrus acids can also be found in your candies like lemon heads and sour heads. The same candy we tasted when we were doing the lesson before and those candies were sour because they were acidic. Ascorbic acid can be found in your vitamin C, which is something that your body needs. Acids are also found in your car batteries that you put in your car to crank up your car to go where you have to go. Wait, none of you all have cars yet, but your parents do, right? Now let's review some of the properties of bases. Bases feel slippery, they have a bitter taste, they can be corrosive, they do not react with metals, and bases will turn red litmus paper blue. Repeat after me. Bases will turn red litmus paper blue. Now I don't know if I had all participation because I'm in this video and you're outside there. Oh wait, I'm going to be in the classroom while this video is playing so I'll know whether or not you're doing it. But just for the sake of me not being sure because I'm on this video, repeat after me. Bases turn red litmus paper blue. Bases can be found in your soaps, your dish detergents, your cleaners, um, chalk, which we don't use chalk anymore, right? Well, yeah, we are right on the ground in the sidewalk playing hopscotch and all that kind of good stuff. Bases can also be found in your oven cleaners. Then, and as a matter of fact, your blood is even a base. Mm -hmm. So now that we have done a quick review on acids and bases, let's start testing our products. So I'm going to show you each product and as I show you each product, I am going to test each product with the red litmus paper and the blue litmus paper. You're going to have your sheet right there with you. I need you to let me know whether or not the blue litmus paper turned red or whether or not it stayed blue or whether or not the red litmus paper turned blue or whether or not it stayed red. And also, you're going to have a spot where you're going to mark whether or not each item is an acid or a base. Okay? Let me repeat that one more time just so that you have an understanding. You're going to let me know whether or not your red litmus paper turns blue or if it stays red. And you're going to let me know whether or not your blue litmus paper turns red or if it stays blue. And there's one more thing. I need to know whether or not each item is an acid or a base. So let's start with our first item, which is the baking soda. I'm going to stir this up to make sure that it's completely mixed and dissolved. Let's put the blue litmus paper in the baking soda. Is there a change in the color? Now let's take the red litmus paper. What is happening to the paper? What happened? The red paper turned blue. What happened to the blue paper? 
the blue paper stayed blue. What happened to the red paper? The red paper turned blue. So we're going to take this pickle juice and I'm going to put some of that in there. Just a little bit. It's your pickle juice. And I'm going to take a red litmus paper and a blue litmus paper. Oh, I got something on it already. I have a red litmus paper and I have a blue litmus paper. I'm going to take the red litmus paper, put it in the vinegar juice, um, put it in the pickle juice. What happens? Now take the blue paper and what happened? Is the pickle juice an acid or a base? So now we have the vinegar. So once again we have red paper and we have blue paper. Let's take the blue paper, the red paper, and stick it in the vinegar. What happens? Now let's take the blue paper and stick it in the vinegar. The blue paper turned red. So is the vinegar an acid or a base? So now let's move on to the paste picante sauce. Blue litmus paper. Red litmus paper. Put the red litmus paper in the picante sauce. What happens? Let's put the blue paper in there. What happens? The red paper stayed the same. The blue paper, is it an acid or is it a base? Now we have the milk. Red and blue paper again. So here we have the milk. The red paper stays the same. The blue paper turns, is it an acid or is it a base? Okay, so now we have the Coca-Cola. The red paper, the blue paper. What happens? The red paper stays the same. The blue paper turns acid or a base. Once again, we have the red paper and the blue paper. Red paper stays the same. Blue paper turns red. Is it an acid or a base? Okay, class, we're down to the final three. We have the Clorox bleach. Red paper, blue paper. What happens? Let's get that closer so you can see that really good. The red paper has turned blue. The blue paper has stayed the same. Is it an acid or a base? So here we have our paper and let's just rub this paper across this grapefruit. The red paper. The blue paper. What happened? The red paper stayed the same. The blue paper turned red. Acid or base? I hope this review has helped you to understand acids and bases better. Understand and note that companies, by changing, adding, or deleting items from products, can change the chemical reaction or the pH balance of these different substances and the pH balances. We'll talk more about that and the pH scale as we go on further in talking about acids and bases. Miss Latimer is